mutual respect, okay? This is the trust tree. Everyone climbs, nobody falls. <laughs> yeah, even I found that one a bit too calm. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> trust tree, trust tree, safe space, safe space. No, serious story, serious story. My friend called me up. He calls me up out the blue. He's like, Jack, there is a dick pic of yours circulating online. Oh my god, I was so distressed. And then I thought, wait a sec, this can't be happening. I have never taken a dick pic in my life. I wouldn't dream of photographing my penis. So, you know, unless they've got hold of Mr. Ridgeway's laptop, this ain't me. <laughs> I call up my agent, still very distressed. I'm like, we need to make this go away. This is not a picture of me, we kill it. Get a lawyer, I don't care how you do it, just make it go away. I hung up the phone, heart pounding, still so distressed. My friend sends me a link to this dick pic, okay? I click on it. You can see it online if you must, right? It comes up in front of me on the screen. I mean, 100% this was not a picture of me. But oh my God, Manchester, it was the most beautiful penis I've ever seen. It was unbelievable. It was long and tanned and sinuous. It looked like Aslan's tail. It was magical. Agent called me back. She was like, what do you want to do? I was like, you know what, I think we should just let it slide. Let's just leave it. I was retweeting it, I was favouriting it. I made it my Facebook profile. You know. Yes, madam, it is to scale. I, uh... It's been up for a long time now, let's get that down. You know, this is the thing, it's like, I feel like with these scandals, you've got to own them. And I've had a few in my time. And I always feel like I'm on the verge of another one, because I put my foot in it, I can't help it. Oh my god, last year I nearly did it on a grand scale. Last year I hosted the Royal Variety Show, okay? Royal Albert Hall, 5,000 people, black tie. That tie which I bought from George at Asda. <laughs> I'm joking, I wouldn't be seen dead in that shit. I... <laughs> Why am I still doing that? I said that on stage in Oxford three weeks ago. I walked out of the theatre, there was a woman waiting for me at the stage door. She went, do you know who I am? I am the menswear buyer from George at Asda. You're not getting sent any more free clothes? Thank fuck for that. I... <laughs> this is what I mean, this is what I mean, I can't help it, okay? So Royal Variety Show, I'm like, just behave. For once in your life, just don't put your foot in it. Just behave, okay? So Prince Harry was the royal in attendance. I was like, I'll start the evening by complimenting Prince Harry in front of everyone. Get them all on side, all right? So I walk out in front of the Royal Albert Hall. I'm like, a Royal Highness Prince Harry, I would like to start by complimenting you on the bravery and the courage that you showed in Afghanistan. Like a ginger in that heat. Ooh, fuck me. <laughs> Now, I'm glad you laughed, because on the night, that one went down like a dead corgi, right? <laughs> and from there on in, it was hard work. End of the show, right, the one thing you've got to remember to do as host is lead the cast in a bow to the royal box, right? So I'm stood on stage, end of the show, next to Sir Elton John, National Treasure, right? And Little Mix, regional trinkets. And... <laughs> do, you know, do you know why I forgot to do the bow to the royal box, right? Because Elton John, a man who I have never met before in my life, never addressed a word to this man before in my life, thought it would be funny, Sir Elton John, on ITV Royal Variety Show, as I'm about to bow to the royal box, to lean in and whisper in my ear, I wouldn't bend over in front of me, love. <laughs> Okay. I've committed an act of treason on stage. Afterwards, it gets even worse. Afterwards, there's this Royal Gala charity reception. God, these stories are so relatable. I, <laughs> I go to this reception and I stupidly decided that I would invite with me as my plus one, my mate Dave. Alright? <laughs> Someone laughing at me. Jack, you do not have a friend called Dave. It's short for the Earl of Daventry. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fake name. I've given him a fake name for this story because he doesn't come out of it great, okay? And what Dave is, Dave is that dickhead friend, right? Dick, you know the way every group of mates has got that dickhead that you haven't been able to shake off since school? Right? You're sat there thinking, our group of mates doesn't got that. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> dickhead friend, so he's a dickhead friend there. I'm hanging out with him. Not hanging out, you don't hang out with a dickhead friend like this. You fucking man mark him, all right? 
So I'm now marking him at the bar. Prince Harry walks over. Prince Harry walks over with two armed security personnel. Just remember that for later on in the story. These guys have guns. Okay? So he walks over. My mate Gabe is a big guy. Gabe? Fucking Dave. Dave? Dave is his name, Jack. <laughs> that went well. Fucking give him a fake name and then just say his actual name out loud in front of 20,000 people. You absolute helmet! I mean, as if this show couldn't get any weirder, we've had a shit on stage, and now I've just done one out of my mouth. <laughs> and you all fucking hurt me because I'm Mike. <laughs> oh fuck it, his name is not Dave. That's just, a, that's just a fake name that I gave him. His actual name is Gabe. <laughs> Gabe Turner is his full name. We might as well. All his family are from Manchester as well! He's on Twitter, so... No, okay, fine, we're doing it, we're carrying on with the story. Dave's dead, we're kicking him in the lime pit. Dave is no more, we're going with Dave, because that's who actually said this shit! Okay, so, Harry walks over to Gabe Emmanuel Turner. <laughs> And Gabe's a big guy, a okay, big unit, shaved head, cauliflower ears, rugby player, big brute of a guy. <laughs> the kind of guy you probably wouldn't want to throw under the bus. <laughs> so he walks over, he sees Gabe, and Harry decides he's going to do a little joke. So he walks up to him, and he turns to me and he goes, Huh, Mr. Whitehall, is this your bodyguard? I was like, <laughs> That's so funny, yes, because he's very tall. <laughs> Please give me an MB, O B C B. I'm not fussy, I'll have whatever you took off Rolf. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a brown noser and I'm a sycophant. The problem is, I was so busy laughing at Harry's shit joke, I didn't realise what was unfolding next to me. It was like one of those moments in life where everything happens in slow motion, right? I turned to my right and I could see that my dickhead friend was gearing up to drop a clanger but there was nothing that I could do to stop it from happening. Do you know what his response was? To getting called a bodyguard by the fifth in line to the throne at a black tie charity reception. He went, oi oi, fuck off Ron Weasley. <laughs> To be fair to Harry, he left it just long enough for me to think that my friend was about to be executed by the security services. And then cool as you like goes, well, I'd rather look like Ron Weasley than Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we got there in the end. That's the longest it's ever taken to tell that story. Make it up.